Welcome, folks. Welcome. This is Asterisk. Welcome to part one of Let's Play Popeye. So it definitely has some snacks handy. Get some munchies, get some goodies, some Chex Mix, Wild Cherry Pepsi, nice juicy Hot Pocket, something like that, just to have a good time. Get some of that ranch dressing to go with that. This sounds like a mean-ass time, I'll definitely tell you. We're going to dive into this. So this is a multi-part segment for Popeye from the, the 1980s. This would have to kind of say and stuff. This is definitely a pretty badass game. I feel like this is on par with Donkey Kong as far as one of the best games of uh, video games that are before Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt and some of those type ones that kick things off in like the mid 80s. It's definitely a classic game. I didn't even realize about this game. That's really the thing about it is I wasn't expecting the quality of this game. I remember thinking that because it was like Popeye and you know there are some worse video games, like when you think of something like E.T. or something like that, that just really is not spoke very highly of and that type of stuff. I just kind of figured that this game wouldn't have been it. But it turns out that this game was actually developed by the developer of Mario. So the actual person that made Mario made this game in addition to Donkey Kong Jr. So all three of these games are a good set to kind of have. Donkey Kong, Popeye, and Donkey Kong Jr. are all a bunch of kick-ass games. Let's kind of look after it. This was a lot of fun to be able to play some of these. I would definitely consider trying this out if you ever see it at an arcade. I definitely would. I'm, out of, I'm not sure if I could beat this in the arcade. This actually took me a little bit. I was thinking I was going to beat this in about four or five minutes or three or four minutes or something, but it just kind of didn't turn out that way. So you basically get two parts of this. I almost kind of wish that... I mean, I did Donkey Kong on this channel a few years ago and Donkey Kong Jr., but I beat both those games in about five or six minutes, something like that, so I just kind of have to say and stuff that uh, I look after it, and uh, yeah, I just was expecting a more lengthy playthrough of some of those. I mean, that's the thing about those games. I like those games so much. I really like Donkey Kong, really like Donkey Kong Jr., and some of that. I just feel like those are classic kind of games, but... I mean, I like how short they are, but at the same time, they're over quickly, and there's just not... I mean, I, I kind of almost wish that they would have developed more games like that. I mean, I know that they did Donkey Kong for the Game Boy and some of that type of stuff, but I just would have to say, like, this class... I mean, this was pitch stuff here from, like, the early 80s and stuff. This is definitely just pretty good stuff. And it's the same thing with Popeye. It just really has that good concept of, like just the length of the game and just the quality of it and the quality of the stages and stuff just really happened to be pretty good stuff so I just think this is kind of an overlooked game I saw this on World of Long Plays and I said oh what the hell is this and that just kind of happened to be the concept it's pretty awesome kick-ass thing to kind of see but yeah and that second stage right there that we just completed the, the thing about it is is Popeye's buddy Wimpy is actually supposed to be in that stage but I think due to like the limitations of the Nintendo they had to cancel them out which is really kind of too bad just kind of look after it because I just feel like you know that character is just not really shown off that much so it would have been interesting to kind of have Popeye have some help but I guess they figured that Popeye needed to do it solo which is too bad but yeah he is in the arcade version so that's kind of the concept but I, I, I would almost say like fuck the arcade version I mean just wholesomely I just question it's not to say like it sucks or anything like that but I just really wonder as to whether or not I'd be able to actually beat the damn game. It's the same thing with Donkey Kong. I mean, there's an extra stage in that one. There's actually four stages in Donkey Kong. Popeye only has three, no matter what. It's really, it's actually too bad that it doesn't have a fourth stage. I mean, it's a quality game here, but I kind of, I wonder what the fourth stage would have been. I wonder how tough it would have been. This is a little bit tougher than Donkey Kong. I'm just going to go ahead and say I can beat basically Donkey Kong with my eyes closed at this particular stage. I'm so used to that game. I just would have to say I look after it and, um, you know, just being able to kind of talk about some of these things. Uh, this is just kind of a tougher game. I mean, you just have more to do and it's not just about... Well, yeah, I mean, really the thing about it is is these help, as you notice, olive oil is kind of sending down the letters of H-E-L-P and you need more than 15 or so of those to get it. And it's kind of, I mean, really, it's the concept of having to get 25 of these or 24 of these. See, or 24, I don't know, I can't. It has 24 of them, so you have to get 24 hearts, and for the most part, most of these notes you have to do quite a bit. It's not quite as simple as it seems, so this, that's what makes this game tougher, is there's just more to do. It's just more intricate and involved than it was for uh, 
like Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr., which I do like those games too, but this one, I mean, it's good. I do like the mechanics of it. It's a nice little game. It's too bad it didn't get a sequel. I would have to say it'd be pretty badass if it would have, but that happens to be a thing. Yeah, this is a class game. I mean, this is up there with Mario. I feel like this competes with Donkey Kong. I definitely think, I would just say, keep munching that pizza, homie. I'm telling you, this is some good stuff. You're going to be seeing these fails. Ludo's just mopping the floor with Popeye at this stage. We are going to get a couple game overs in this playthrough between parts one and two, and I just would have to say, this is kind of comic mischief, so hopefully you're getting some kicks out of this and that type of stuff. As far as that kind of goes, Popeye's just going to get his ass kicked, and... Eventually we'll get the spinach and Bluto will get his ass kicked. I was actually trying to get it there, but his beer bat his beer bottles were faster than me. It's kind of the concept there. It's kinda of have to say, but yeah, so that's just kind of the concept. Popeye does actually have a punch attack, which I don't actually use that much in this entire playthrough, but I guess I just forgot about it. I want to say that you can add, there's birds that attack you or condors that attack. There's condors that attack you in stage three, and I want to say if you punch those, you might actually be able to defeat them. I'm not really sure. I didn't I didn't test it out because I didn't want to be wrong and have to start the whole game over, but that's just kind of the concept about it. I think you can at least punch certain things. I don't really know why you would have the punch ability if you can't use it for anything. It's just not really a lot of concepts. You can't punch Bluto, and the only thing you can really get is just the spinach. You have to punch the blocks to get the spinach over there. But I just kind of look after just being able to say that. This is kind of a thing. It's, just kind of, it's an odd tactic just to have a, a technique that doesn't really do anything. But... They should have made, they should have definitely done like a Popeye for the Game Boy and had a bunch more stages in it like they did with Donkey Kong. That would have been a pretty awesome idea to have kind of gotten. Definitely wouldn't have minded that. It's just a brilliant little game. It's pretty infatuated with it, I just would have to say. But yeah, this is just a good little playthrough to eat pizza and that type of stuff. Definitely have like a hot pocket with some ranch, some of those type moments. I'm telling you that wild cherry Pepsi just probably tastes brilliant as far as that kind of goes, just would have to say. It's good stuff. Turn on Jackass after that, watch some Crank Yankers, watch like some Pimp My Ride, some of those type shows. Some Netflix, a little bit of that, some of those type moments. It's good after hours kind of fair. This is a perfect little playthrough for like 2 o'clock in the morning. I mean, it's brief, but it's just kind of... I would just look for like the right segment to kind of have this in the interim kind of sequence as far as just saying that you know you're getting 15 minutes of a playthrough here. Just general comic mischief shenanigans is trying to figure out the way of having some entertainment with it because I would estimate that most playthroughs if you can find more playthroughs of Popeye for the Nintendo or the arcade on here are probably only done in like five or ten minutes or something like that but you get 16 minutes of quality with this version the Acid Roots version of it so it's pretty badass so. yeah but look at all the tricks that Bluto has 